Ben Hooper says he's an ordinary man setting out to achieve the extraordinary, but he's about to try to swim the Atlantic. Oh, I checked with Guinness World Records and no human has ever swum an ocean in full every single mile. Uh, there's been one or two attempts, but you know, not more people have landed on the moon than have tried to do this. Ben's route will take him from Senegal in West Africa to Natal in northern Brazil, an estimated distance of 1,636 miles. He'll have to contend with 20-foot waves, poisonous jellyfish and man-eating sharks. And if he gets past all that, he'll be swimming for around four months, aiming to complete the challenge by March next year. At night, he'll be getting out to sleep in a boat. And when the boat drifts, it'll return to the same spot where he got out of the water to make sure that the mileage is spot on. I'll be swimming six, uh, six, six and a half days a week. And we need to really be punching in between 15 and 20 kilometres a day. So that's the equivalent of two swim marathons every day. But let's get back to those sharks and how he plans to frighten them off. Well, you haven't seen me in trunks, have you? So that will probably drive them away for a start. So we have a uh, shark repellent, and it's basically rotting shark cartilage in a can. And it's all biodegradable, the can included. And when it inverts, it lets out a plume that I need to insert myself into. And it's, it's awful. It made me vomit. It stinks for weeks. But it seems to scare a lot of sharks off. So how will he feel if he pulls it off? I may even just end up floating onto the beach and needing an ambulance. You know, who, who knows? But it is one of the last bastions to be conquered um, and a proper traditional first. So I guess I'll be excited.